I'm going to say something that I never thought I would ever say. I've just bought a mini. I don't know why, but I've just never really been a fan of minis. Until now. My wife has been absolutely desperate for a mini, and ever since I've bought the Subaru, she's been pestering me for one. So I promised her that the next car that we do, as a project, is going to be a Mini. And here it is. It's quite safe to say that this car is far from perfect. But let's talk about the good points first. It starts. It's got no engine management lights. No airbags are popped. And all we've got is an ABS light. A good start. Unfortunately, that's about as far as it goes for the good points about this car. As you can see, the wheel's already off, and let's just say it's not very pretty under there. The front near side wishbone has completely folded back in on itself, hence why the wheel was set back in the arch. The CV has completely separated as well, and the front drop link has a nice little kink to it. In terms of external damage, we're looking at a new near side headlight, passenger side headlight. The front bonnet is also quite crumpled, so I don't know if that's going to be repairable. I'm going to need a new front windscreen and A-pillar trim. And of course, whoever was assessing the car was kind enough to circle all the stone chips and minor scratches on the vehicle. However, they did miss one. But I guess that's a bit obvious. They also missed the massive key mark that's on the passenger side door that's been very poorly touched in. So now that I've assessed the damage, I'm going to start getting everything off, and getting the hub disassembled, and see what parts we need to order. I'm going to fire on the GoPro, and just get into it. First thing that I'm going to do is get this wishbone off. And to do that, I need a 21mm socket, which I'm working on just now. And then there's an 18mm socket at the front. I have already cracked and loosened these off, but they weren't overly tight to start with. That could have been cause of the collision, but who knows. Then after a few clunks with a hammer and a little bit of prying, the wishbone came free and the suspension was able to move around. But the only thing is, that the wishbone is essentially welded into that bush at the back so I'm going to drop the whole suspension and then see if I can get a better look at what's actually going on here. So then it was time to get the caliper off, get all the drop links and stuff like that removed, the drop links bent anyway so it's going to need replaced, get all the cables, ABS sensors and stuff like that out of the way and then I can move on to dropping the suspension out. Dropping the suspension out once everything's disconnected is very straightforward. There's three 13mm bolts holding the strut in place. Just buzz them off, make sure you're propping the suspension strut up if it's jacked up off the ground. And then you can just go and loosen that off and wiggle it down until it's free. And of course forget to disconnect the ABS sensor. This one's given us a problem anyway so it's not really a big deal. But you'd want to disconnect this before. So after getting that suspension tower off, suspension strut, whatever the hell you want to call it, I ran into a little bit of an issue where I couldn't get the rear wishbone off. So I went in, I done a bit of Googling, I done a bit of YouTubing, and it was an absolute pain in the ass. So what you need to do is you need to drop the subframe because one of the bolts to hold it on is attached to the subframe, but it also presses up hard against the body of the car which I couldn't reach. And the only other way to do it, without taking the subframe off, was to essentially lube up the wishbone with some release oil, WD-40, whatever you've got. Get a pry bar in and try and pry the wishbone out of the bush, which I did. I didn't record doing it because I was lying down and you just couldn't get in with the camera. But I've got it off. And I've also got half of the bush with it, so yeah, this is going to make things interesting because I think 
you can get a new bush into the into the casing without taking the subframe off. But I need to get the remains of the old bush out. So I'm going to have a play about with that. Most likely off camera because it's really difficult to get in film in this area while I'm doing stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've already got one wheel off and it's wrecked. So I'm going to refurb it. I'm also going to refurb the other three wheels and we're going to change the colour of them. So that's all going to be in the next video. I know this is a bit of a short one, a bit of an introduction to the car. What we'll do is uh, I'll roll up his screen. I'll roll on the screen a little bit of a, a list of the parts that I think I need. And then I'm going to go about trying to source those parts so that hopefully in the next episode we can refurbish the wheels and get this all back together. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.